Elvis, uh, you know, you mentioned Manny, obviously, earlier. You guys have such a close relationship. Um, the two of you guys last summer went through trauma together. I mean, there's no other way to put it. How important was it having both you guys here? Uh, did you guys help each other kind of get through that situation? And I mean, as far as the season starting and, and just kind of working through, you know, the mourning process, I guess. Um, well, Manny and, and his wife, G, they became as my, my parents. Uh, I call G as my mom and Manny I call as my daddy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's it's completely nothing to do with the hockey. Uh, it, it's just when you come to the rink, he's your coach. When you're outside the rink, you can tell him to, yeah, you can tell him a lot of things. <laughs> I saved just myself. Uh, <laughs> It's um, we we just became so close family that um, I really like I really love him. Um, this is business. We never know how the things are going, uh, but uh, I'm sure that he's gonna be always my best friend for the rest of my life. Um, about the Matisse, yes, um, it's not an excuse. I try to not go in that excuse, but um, the before Christmas period. Um, I, I wasn't here. I wasn't here mentally. Uh, the the uh, because I felt the Christmas are coming closer, and Matisse was always with us in Christmas and New Year. And then I heard the fireworks. I remember we played the first, uh, and I asked Lars. I just I even couldn't talk. I just I had in my I, I knew it that I'm not gonna I can't play that game. Uh, because I knew that there's going to be fireworks, and if I'm going to hurt them, it's going to be, it's going to be a problem. Uh, and uh, I just, I remember, I walked to Manny, and I just started crying. I couldn't even express myself. And then Manny brought me to Lars, and and Lars as well. Uh, Lars was the first guy who was there the next morning, so uh, Lars totally understands that. And, and I got close to Lars as well. Uh, not that close, like with Manny, that I can't tell him too far to the. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, and uh, and they understood. But that period, that week, uh, or that couple of weeks, it's just something that I couldn't control. It was just coming. As as closer was the 24th, and then the the new year, it, it was just the pain or, or scaredness. I don't know even how to express myself. It's just inside you feel something and it was getting heavier 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 and there is hockey and then you have to win the games and i'm gonna be honest there was a couple of games that i was just going out there and i didn't care because i wasn't there i was i was playing hockey the guys are coming on me and i'm thinking i'm thinking gosh last year he was here with me and this year there's gonna be empty seat in my table and uh it was hard um but they helped me to go through it uh, Manny helping me a lot to go through that. Uh, it, it's it's always nice when you have somebody with who you can cry together, and and and, and just that hug, that hug is is helping you. And uh, I, I think I think this is really nice and important thing for me as well uh, to having such a good friend as Manny. Did, did it take you a while to get used to the the cannon again too? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Uh, for the opening night, um, I didn't had time. But uh, yeah, the, when I heard the cannon, I I, I, I know like it, if I felt like first year. I, I we all know what happened to him. And then when I heard the the cannon, my heart, I felt my heart. Like I never heard in my life my heart beating that that alive. And uh, and it's that was really. Weird feeling what I had, uh, and yeah, and I'm gonna be honest. The next like three, four games, when I heard the cannon, even when we scored the goals, I was always closing the eyes and getting myself ready for nothing. But um, I think that's just a trauma. Uh, but it it go it went away. Uh, obviously now when I heard the cannon, I'm happy. Uh, but uh, yeah, that that was just the the feeling what I had in the start of season. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank you. See you in summer.